six minutes until showtime. Five minutes until showtime. minutes until showtime. Three minutes until showtime. Two minutes until showtime.
one minute until showtime. Your show will go live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? <laughs> Good evening. Status by for the arrival. Plus the official uplink from this location. Good evening and welcome to tonight's festivities and to the official countdown. Live. Live. What you are about to witness is real. This is not a dream, but a new beginning. Stand by for uplink. Thank you. Commencing the official countdown in three, two, one. Bang, 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 bang,
right hand to make him get low in the building. <laughs> and we also have someone else in the building. Last one. LOS in the building. In the building yo. I don't know if you can see him in the, sh in the show, uh, I mean, but I, later on he'll be giving us a little surprise as well. So it, it's, we got a lot of stuff going. We gotta get we gotta get the show going. Else we'll be here all no, night. We're gonna get do it. it. <laughs> right after this commercial. Uh, yeah, you know we always gotta do our commercials, don't we? We'll be right back. See ya. <laughs> Newly founded record label, Insane One Records, is looking for rap, hip-hop, R&B, or gospel artists with projects already completed, including singles, EPs, or albums. We offer global distribution, artist development, social media management, publicity, and marketing. For consideration, please submit your press kit to InsaneOneRecords at gmail.com, or for more information, call Insane at 951-796-1141. Insane One Records. All right. Once again, I want to let the callers know that um, you, you, when you call in, you need to press one if you want to speak. You see, so I'm dropped off. So let me tell you a little bit what we're about, what we're about to do. We got a music review session that's about to come through. Yes. The hot tracks that we're playing, we play the hot tracks. They are being, they are featured on Urban Indie Radio. You no, know, license, ASCAP, BMI, CSAC, all that. So go ahead and get your songs on rotation, UrbanIndieRadio.com. And then we also do the industry topic. The industry topic of the night is. Well, I'll tell you that when you get there. Yeah, well, I'll let's, tell you let's now. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll let them wait. We'll wait. Okay. And then, then we, you know, talk about in-studio guests. So we're going to play a track because Top Shelf does have a track for us to play. A hot track, too. And then we also have another a surprise after that. So now we are getting to the a music review session. Yes. It's the NR session. Uh, Some of these songs have been submitted. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the songs have been submitted to Insane One go. Records. And others have been requested that we... Know, give our music review on. So, we're ready I'm to get into it. I apologize in advance. Listen, we gonna, uh, if you weren't here with us last week, we'll just remind people we took the artist names off the song. We're just giving the titles of the song so that we don't, nobody's feelings get hurt. We're, some of us are going to be using a 1 to 10 scale, whereas others are just going to be giving overall overview of the music. So, all right. The first track we're going to get into is Brand New Feeling. Here we go. <laughs> Now I ain't gon' front, girl, I'm backside Far away, you be looking like you that wide Talking to a real, so she that shot Coming on too strong, baby, that's why Look when you check your lips Two pop lips, damn, I love that And that's it, she got it too Oh, damn, I know it's real with that tattoo But what was that proof? Do it down, baby, that poor baby She look back at it like old pictures, yeah, with her, that's a cosign She threw it off sand grid, so she throw wine It's clear that work, and I'm going in like a kill that first <laughs> Baby, come be chillin', yeah, that's a brand new thing I be high, bomb, so she be mine. <laughs> Messing with the lame dudes too much. Came too clutch with the game away. Got it, couch, yeah. Like an owe you money, I got ya. Make it so fast, home, I'm me cops up. <laughs> back it up and let me watch ya. Yeah. Go back, it's a Thursday, too. Say she like the flow with my boy play true. Say the name was Resident, you know that. It's a brand new feeling for the romance. I ain't even trying to cuff with you so bad. If I'm leaving right now, probably go back. So I shout out, and I came through chilling. <laughs> Still a brand new feeling. surprises for you too, baby. Ooh. Ooh. All, right. All right. That was brand new film. Oh, I know. That was like cool. And Inky. I'm going to start off with Twitch. Uh, I kind of think it had a little Tupac -y, uh, sound to it, you know, like a old school hip hop flow. Uh, like the beat was cool. I just didn't like the little, the little in it. You know, it was too much 
sample for me. All right. Thanks. Man, he hit it right on the money. All of, I'm going to give it a seven. I actually was feeling the song until the hook came out. I think that was a very unnecessary use of a sample. The beat was cool. The lyrics was cool. Everything was straight. But I really, really think that that chorus just did not fit the song at all. All right. That was my Angelo, the point system man. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to get you to critique your, your, your product. Your callers, please critique. stay on the line. We see you. We're going to get to you up. after the A&R review right, session. Right, right. DB, what you think about that track? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, like everybody's saying, pretty much like a 7 or 8, pretty average track. Had a nice flow of delivery, but too much sampling. Even with his verse, he, uh, like you said, it sounded kind of like pop in the beginning. To switch it up in the second verse, like you're gonna be like, try to stick to yourself a little bit more. And you know, I like the beat, and everything else is straight. Lady Impress. I like the music. The commercial appeal was moderate. The song structure was not right. I mean, it was only two verses, and it's like what everybody else has already said about that that hook. It wasn't, I can't, no, I'm hearing this from, I've heard this before. No. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing wrong with remaking. It, it didn't work. You can remake someone's work. track. You it, can use influence, yeah. but that wouldn't be for only thing I could see that really going on would be like maybe if that was going on a, a DVD or something of a Tupac type story right. because that was too much sampling to mm -hmm. call it your own. But if it was used for something like that, okay. Yeah. But other than that, I couldn't. Yeah, the hook didn't match the song. The hook, the, the, yeah. the hook didn't match it the Tupac vibe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The hook exactly. supposed to be that, that <laughs> part of the song that makes me like, cool, we're supposed to grab you. And I was really waiting. Yeah. I was hoping to hear some, you know, some of that feeling stuff in there. And I'm like, I'm like this don't got nothing to yeah, do with Yeah, the, the, it, it, the enticing, it, it wasn't very enticing. But I did and, want then, to finish. and then what he's saying about the second sampling was he also was sampling Biggie Smalls in that second verse. So, you know, I, you know, that's all I do. Is I, so then I'm going to more uh, agree not, with what okay. uh, D, DB said, was that he needs to be more himself because I can hear in his voice, voice that he has it in him. If yeah. he would come up with his own stuff, he would be the Because the, the sampling part, I understand. He obviously wanted to make this. You know, yeah. he was obviously referencing it to the two bus. I, I, that, that's yeah. obvious. And then the, um, the lyrical content was good. I listened to his words. It worked good, although the song was way too short. It was way two too short. Yeah. Two minutes and two verses. At least that, three, y'all. Radio need at least three minutes. So they give you three minutes. Three minutes and three verses, or two verses in a bridge. Um, that we say that every song. show, but I guess people really need to know that. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's what we're here to do. That's why we're here to have, take you it. You can have a song <laughs> with just two verses and it's still be three minutes, depending on yeah. how you do the hook. That's true. Because I got one. Like, I played mine like that last week, and it's like three oh five. It's only two verses, so you ain't got to squeeze in three, but. You want your song on the radio, you gotta keep it no longer than about three between three to three fifteen. That's you know, they gonna give you all that. Yep. And then the beat, you know, saying the beat was good. Um, I do notice that the chorus could have been a little bit more enticing because it like 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 um, DB said it wasn't very it's was like that waiting for it and it didn't come. Um, and the production quality the production quality was okay. Okay, I think that's good yep. for that song. Our next song is called Another Another drink. And callers, please stay on the line and give us some input uh, when we're through with our review session. We want to know your Don't input, too. Down. Thank you. 
Make them feel like you some gin, keep the club buzzing. I'll be in your club, get your girl in company. You're discussing, making groupies out of her. Her friends and all her female cousins. Wipe that spot off your shoulder, quit your mini mug. I can see all that smoke you're bumping, that shit blows. Blast, blast, jibber, jabber, chin, can't nothing. Say yourself a bad night and go and have a drink or something. But I ain't shitting your chicks so you can stop bugging. She's a butter, face the straight, I find it quite the same. Now that that chick is fucking like this, stop bugging. You're a bunch of fun, dark places, you can hide it down here. Just real talk, this is crap in my staff.
think the dub vocals behind the ad lib were a little too laden, so that's why I think you were saying, I mean, the, the, it's it kind of sound rushed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, also, uh, I mean, I, I think that the quality needs a little more compression on the vocals, uh, as well as a little bit of treble on the overall beat. Oh, snap! What? He's, he broke it down. Yeah. I, 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 mix I almost the music want you myself. to repeat you know, that because that music, sounds I mean, like that's some real so, knowledge. <laughs> you know, I, I, I really break it down to the quality of the production itself, you know, because mixing and mastering isn't just a, an overnight thing. You know, it takes, a, you know, days at a time for even the, the smallest echo, you know. So, I mean, if, when you have too much echo, you mean, it kind of kills the song, you know. Yeah. Yes, artists definitely, you know what I'm saying, I do artist development definitely, you know, make sure that your music is mix and master right by a professional engineer or somebody that was trained in the school. Because if you, you just think that you know how to mix and master and you don't, or you don't at least have the experience in it to know that, it's not going to come out right. Like, you I think it comes song. out right. Okay, I, it, the music was club music. So, Commercial Pill, of course, is club music. That was a club song. Um, the song was long enough, so it did meet that criteria on like the previous song um, that we just had just played from, from the other artists. And then, I think that the lyrical content was decent, but it was outdated. I think that the song structure was okay. It was in, it was structured in the right format. The production quality, I did notice that it sounded like the um, vocals were being drowned out by the instrumental, and the beat the beat was okay. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't uh, anything fancy or nothing, but it wasn't you know the worst. It was it's just a filler. Like yeah, a filler song. All right, we're gonna oh. get into this next tra uh, track called Point of No Return. Point of No Return. Oh. I never thought that me chasing the dream would lead me to this position So unaccomplished, never proud of myself Because you doubted me, I guess I doubted myself I couldn't believe that I was made to achieve And started thinking that maybe I'm like everybody else I told myself to put it down, maybe this isn't made for you Quit now before you see what it made of you But I can't turn back because I came so far And I can't back down because I reached for the stars But it's getting hard to tell on my destination that But shit, it's still too late to turn back Baby, I'm at the point I'm no return I know you try to save me But there's still so much to learn it's like one minute to love me, next you wanna hate me Can't stand this shit, it's driving me crazy Seems like we started so long ago But we still got so far to go I'm at a point of no return no looking back because I'm too far gone, just let it ride Cause I've been on this road for too long If it's really life after death, I put my soul in the song To let it cry, cause I don't see it coming down my eyes I just hold my head to the sky and wonder why Why am I still chasing the dream, I should just wake up Why am I losing my strive, maybe I'm getting fed up Cause we ain't tough ain't enough, maybe it's time to give up And say enough is enough, I just can't take this no more I just forsake who I was all because I always told myself that I would be the best But now I question if I can even prove it Seems like I'm just second guessing this bullshit I don't know, I guess I need to find where my mind at But shit, it's still too late to turn back Baby, I'm at the point of no return I know you're trying to save me But there's still so much to learn it's like one minute you love me, next you wanna hate me Can't stand this shit, it's driving me crazy Seems like we started so long ago But we still got so far to go yeah. Tomorrow was never promised 
That's why I promise to keep this promise And to be honest, this shit is different from when I was just a kid Always thinking that I'ma get it now But now I'm thinking that I should probably throw in the towel But when I look into the mirror, something says, wow What the fuck are you thinking? God gave you a gift You got a talent So why the fuck are you here thinking of quitting? You giving up on yourself because you feel alone But you not alone Cause I was with you all alone Yeah, I know you've been through a lot You lost a couple of friends You let bygones be bygones Cause in the end, you couldn't help but pretend That everything changed like the seasons And everything happens for a reason But you are who you are and don't forget it So never turn back, not for one day a minute Because, baby, I'm at the point I'm no return I know you're trying to save me but you feel so much to learn It's like one minute you love me Next you wanna hate me Can't say this shit is driving me crazy Seems like it started so long ago But you still got so far to go Yeah So anybody out there That chased the dream That ever had a dream But you never had the resolve to finish that road, just know it all depends on you, cause once you reach that point of no return, ain't no turning back. Alright, that was point of no return. Right. Hmm. Got it switch. Uh, I think the direction is nice, uh, the look was, it was a good, meaningful look. Uh, I think the delivery and the depth of the telling of the story changing on a three or a five or a seven, you can change on a, a two, four, six, or eight, you know, because I, I caught a little of a, a low pattern of change, you know, it was on point like A, B, A, B, A, F, you know, all, out of nowhere, you know, but that, and that was on the second verse. Mike Tensler. Uh, when return, uh, commercial appeal, yes. The only thing that, 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 that Okay, it looks like you're not ready. I'm ready. <laughs> uh, you know what? This is kind of funny because it's like I like and dislike parts of it. The delivery, he sounded to me like he just started rapping. You know what I'm saying? It was real novice. And then everybody can't pull off what knives do. It's called rhyming. So I'm expecting to hear rhymes. And all through the bars, You'll see him hit something, you expect him to come back to that same thing and then go somewhere else, then go three places after that. But what's crazy though is the lyrics, I was feeling it. Like, he had some heart. He really had some nice lyrics to the point where I would almost want to say, man, maybe you need to do some writing first. Because, and work on your delivery because that's a part of it. You know what I'm saying? You can have the dopest lyrics, but if it don't come out right, it just don't come out right. So I gave it a 6.5, but lyrics. like I say, it's crazy. I like the lyrics, but I didn't like how they was brought to the presentation. All right, D.B.? Overall, uh, I, I give it a 5. Like uh, everybody pretty much saying, when he came in saying, baby, you lost me. The lyrics, just because you're making like a positive, good vibe type song, you can't get away with having a crazy rhyme scheme. You know what I'm saying? Just because you keep saying positive lines after another positive line doesn't mean you're dropping bars. You know, but like you said, if you can stay on topic and keep going on one thing and just keep going with that, you know what I'm saying, That's that, that'll keep us more engaged. But overall, it was a cool song. It met the time requirement. I could, I could see it played on the uh, radio just because of the hook and the lyrics, you know what I'm saying, good positive vibe. But overall, I give it a five. All right. Caller, stay on the line. We will get to you after the next hot track in our music review session. Okay, can I just say I one thing? Done. Oh, yeah, I was gonna let you. I was oh, just, I'm just letting the callers know to stay on. Oh, okay. right. what did you think about the song? Well, I had to pull my thoughts together because if the song, it was like going in all different directions, and I was like, first I was listening to one type of song, and then he went somewhere else. But I do want to say he had a lot of 
it was some feeling and emotion there, but it was just misdirected. But he had heart in the song, so right. I give him some kudos for that. All right, I think that I think with um, I agree with what DB was saying that that he pretty much hit the the nail on the um head. That's you know you have to come with you have to make sure that the song that the song is right for you. Like sometimes if an artist takes a beat and they're just sitting there listening to the beat and they decide that they want to try to write a song to it, that doesn't always work. Sometimes you have to feel get that vibe with the producer. You might want to make know what you how you want your song to go and you tell the producer how you want your beat to go if it's that you know you want your beat to go with it and then like you you can switch off the flow doesn't have to be a and b it doesn't have to be this and that and then and that but it needs to be you know sort of like this and that and but that but that but but then it comes back you know what i mean you have to stay on point is there's timing and music there's timing and like i was mentioning last show if your timing is off it throws off your whole song it throws off the complete whole song. If you don't know about timing, go back and read the music Bible. Go read your music books, you know what I'm saying? And you'll learn a little bit more about the timing because that timing, it, 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 it matters a lot. Very important. The song, the beat, it was very simple. Um, it sounds to me also like this rapper is more of a beginning rapper. Like he's maybe not um, a far advanced, um, you know, artist. And it was very... It sort of sounded, it wasn't engaging. It didn't grab me. It's not like I was going to want to go buy that after I listened to it. You know what I mean? Right. So so other than that, the song structure was okay. I agree with the song structure was okay and the production quality was okay. But overall, it was not, not a um, very good song. We're okay. going to go to the next. Let me, let me just uh, say a couple of things. Someone texted me that the volume was low. And so I have adjusted the volume. Hopefully you guys can hear us really well on video. And then also, I wanted to say hi to the people who have texted us saying that they're watching the show. Oh. So, <laughs> hello. Hi to you. hello. How you doing? And the other. Hope it's females. How you doing? Being honest. We we lost our teleprompter just now, but the next song is going to be one more drink. Okay, so one more drink. drink. All right. Oh, another song about drinks. Yeah. Let's go. Stay true. so what we do is live it up to fill another cup We can't really want us to leave but we don't give a fuck And now we on stage playing haters to a rage This shit is fucking tough, letting me out the cage Yeah, I'm on a rampage when I'm stepping through the club Music playing crowd singing, everybody's showing love Yeah, I'm on my level with nothing bringing me down Just one more drink and I'm levitating the ground So pull me up another drink Another drink, pain, honey, Bacardi, I can't think I can't think, and no pro say They know that we okay, we fall till we fall And that's the way it's gonna be That's all I really need is one more drink one more. And all we really need is one more drink one And more. all we really need is one more drink yeah. And I'ma take you home to the morning, morning, morning yeah. Everybody put your drinks up in the sky Lock the bottle, we pump them up high All them are watch the screams like spies Give me this and then send me oh my Put your drinks up in the sky Lock the bottle, we pump them up high All them are watch the screams like spies Give me this and then send me oh my Come on, put your drinks up Everybody in the club, put your drinks up. Come on, come on, put your drinks up. And everybody in the club, put your drinks up. Put the singer girl, then take her back to the crib. Lay her down like a baby, and then I give it the bill. Came up with some small, but now I'm doing it big. And if you're looking for some work, then I can give you the business. Uh, can't even stop it when the music goes. It become a cold world, and they need a drum. But we ain't come to fight, we ain't looking for trouble. I only came for the ladies in the drink. So the ladies in the drink, so make it a double. I'm on the new level when it's feeling incredible. I look around the club and all the women look at it. With bottles at the bottles, got all looking like the models. I don't know what to do. It's just following the crew. I know I came in with one, but now I'm leaving with two. And if I need a third kiss, then shawty, how about two? I don't care if you got a girl. Shit, bring her two. I'm overdosed on a couple drinks. I don't know what to think. I'm going harder than hard and bitch, you soft as a mink. And I'm connected to the top as soon as I get a link. Third cruise, your military with one more drink. Chill. Yeah. 
Everybody put your things up in the sky. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yo, it, I just wasn't feeling it, man. That's all I gotta say. He I just, just like started something new. <laughs> so all right. People are gonna call in later. If you, you know, we gonna. That's a new saying. We gonna say you get the sign in the face. <laughs> sign in the face. I, all right. I so started gonna, off like that hey, too, hey, though. You feel at me? At this point, we're gonna take callers. Can I give my impression of the music? Uh, you 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 got to hear the song while you yes. were writing to me? Yeah, absolutely. Go on, lady. You I listen to the lyrics, right? I am oh, lady. Okay. Go, go ahead. Go so ahead. I need to spell it out. Go ahead. Yeah. I, I have to listen to the song. Okay. Sure. okay, I like the song. I think I'm the only one in here that can start off saying that I like the song. It was it's different from what we're used to hearing, but mm. that does that didn't keep me from being able to say that it had potential. Anything about a drink in a club after you've had enough alcohol, you are gonna get down with. But you shouldn't have so. to have alcohol to like a song. <laughs> now hold on, now. I didn't hear the song, but I mean, from what you're saying, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. no. Now you guys Family know arguments. if you you know me, I would say if I needed to have two drinks to like this song. That's not what I'm saying. Okay. I, I'm actually saying I. I I did really like the song. It okay. was the his his flow and the the production qualities were a little off a little bit, mm-hmm. but the potential for the song I think is there. So the whole song had potential to be absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna get into the callers right now. First caller on the line, two six seven five zero five. You're live on air with the Blazing ELA show, hello. Yes, how you doing? All right, who's this? Good. This is Mr. Mike, manager and CEO of Turn That Up Entertainment. Turn that right. Turn Let's that turn up. Up. Oh, Mr. Mike. Yeah. It's a T-U with T-S. Uh, I know that Sean, uh, I haven't talked to him saying, but I know that uh, they're related and the business is in the same. Let me say that. All right. Yes, we are related. If anyone okay, calling but, into the show tonight, I, um, though, that is my mom. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yes. all in the family. Uh, the last two songs you played was by my artist. Okay. Point of No Return was by him, and uh, One More Drink. Point of No Return, he wrote the whole song. He did the hook, and he did his verses. The guy that's, uh, that sung the hook, that's a, that's a friend of ours, and he also does music. Mm-hmm. The second song, uh, I picked the songs. I was iffy about that second song, but when LaShawn and the other guy said that they liked it, it made me feel kind of good. Fabulous. Uh, we're a feel-good I like uh, most of your comments. Okay. I like most of your comments. I, I agree with a lot. But some I I disagree. Like he don't sound like Nas. Uh, it's definitely something different. I and I also that. noticed that depending on where you're from, your choice of music is different. Because I have heard songs on the show that you guys said was good that I didn't think was good. And right. from all the songs that I've heard so far. Third songs was the best, and I don't mean to sound cocky about it, but you know that's, <laughs> that's your artist. That's your of course artist. not. I mean, you better say that. I mean, that's your artist. Um, what it is is I don't think no one compared your artist to Nas because we wouldn't be comparing. Um, I don't think we would be comparing these songs to Grace. Nas is a great. I don't just listen to music from this West Coast region. Let me mind you that this are, I, you know, I run a record label. I I listen to music from every region. So it's not biased opinions because it's urban in the L.A. You know, we do get a lot more sometimes L.A. music, but that doesn't mean anything. We listen to music from everywhere. But we, we thank you, though, for calling in, and we thank you for, for your opinions. And we thank you for submitting uh, your artists to go through our critique. And I also want to say that artists, you have to make music for mainstream. That's all over the United mm-hmm. States and across the borders. So if a song is a hit, usually when Rihanna has a hit song, it's a hit song all over the globe. It's not... Not it's not a hit here in LA because we're used to G funk. Right. I mean, it's a good song. If it's a good song, it's a good song. Oh, Let's go. All right, caller number two four. Is that the two six seven number? No, That's four four three is okay. next. Four four three two two six. You're live on air with the Blaze in the LA show. Hello. Yes. Hello. Who's this? Hello. Hi. Yes. Oh, hey, I just wanted to impress. All right. What's good? It's um, Young Fan. 
What's up, young What's fan? How you doing? Thank you for calling in. How you doing? You told me call today. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm waiting for that special presentation. You still going to oh, do it? Oh, did I call too early? No, you can do it right now. It's open mic. Let's go. Oh, oh, I, oh spit, um, spit. I guess I'll give my feedback, though. I like that last song, though. Oh, okay. uh, I see the potential, but it just came out. I think, you know, his mindset of how it sounds wasn't really how it came out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got you. And so I, I see the potential in the, in the track, but right. it just didn't come out the way he thought it did. Right. It needs, some, it needs <clears throat> some work. I think it could be a club hit, but it needs some work. And I didn't get to hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But go ahead, man. Young fans, we want to hear. I want to hear this special, the special bars you fixing to hear spit for me. Oh yeah, I want. I had yesterday was open mic, so is, I mean, y'all want me freestyle now or what's up? Yes, sir. Let's hear it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna spit it to y'all easy. Lavender coated screens matching metallic TVs. That was my dream back when I was in my teens. Then reality hit. Even started a bit just to grasp the hunger. Worked with my mama. She gonna see it through. 4 a.m. So new one, I'm getting this money earning. Dress married like grooms. I'm on the block working. Studio till my eyes fold. Vocals burning my soul. No time for these hoes while you busy twerking. I'm out here serving this heat in 8 degrees Fahrenheit. Believe the height. West coast to east coast. I got some Cali pride. L.A. What's up? Y'all cut me some air time like a tongue tuck. Just to deliver this rap structure, these rats is getting mad, brother. Why? Because I'm so high, I'm skydiving off of lyricism. Or they mad because I jet lag the hate. I don't carry extra weight on my shoulders. I keep my head level. Pray to God every day because the devil trying to kill me. Hit my flesh over railings so I can feel the breeze like chandeliers on ceilings. Exclusive freestyle for indie radio. I hope y'all feel it, though. It's your boy, Young Fame. In this rap game, I'm all about it. It's three shots to belch in reality. First hey. off, I want to thank Sean Turner for giving the opportunity. Even though I had holes in my grinder sneaks, he seen the vision, no prescription when I'm high off these instrumentals. And I'm single, lady, just for you. No subconscious statement, but I thought I had to say it. On the best pace and keeping it live, I feel my adrenaline rise. My eyes wander as my brain responds to the images I'm picturing. I could take a knife to a swollen... Uh, hold up, uh. <laughs> you feel me? I'm going in. Young fame in the house. Young fame huh? in the house. Thank man. you so much. Good job. Man, man, man. One of the hottest verse you many, night of freestyle. Not many people call in and do that. I guess I, I guess they're scared, but not many people do that. That was oh, sweet. <laughs> but if you're an artist, you're supposed to be able to spit. You know what I'm saying? If this if I was uh, you know, anybody, if I was Russell Simmons or whoever, if I come to you and be like, you say your artist spit right now, you're supposed to be able to spit. That might be your one shot. Don't forget that. Next All right, next call. caller, 267 You're live on air with the Blazing the LA Show. Hey, hey, what's going on, man? I'm just calling to show y'all some love, man. This neighborhood fat boy from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, man. I respect what y'all doing, you dig? Thank you All so right. much, fat boy. Thank you, man. Appreciate we that. Like, we like that East Coast, West Coast. Thank hey, you so man, much, Hey, man, listen. Y'all, y'all, really, y'all, really, y'all really show artists what they really need to develop their skills and master their craft, you feel me? Yes, thank you. Thank I you so much. Man. And join us every Wednesday, please. We need your support as well. Next week, call in and spit for me, okay? You already know. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 951. No, actually, I take that back. 760-217. You're live on air with the Blaze in the LA show. Okay. Come get the spit for me, okay? Hello? 760-217. Are you there? You have to turn your radio down or your computer because I'm hearing your feedback. Hello, I want to give a shout out to my nigga DD and Twitch. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? Who is this? Yeah. Who is this? Hello? Hey. You're live on the air at the Blaze in the LA show. Give a shout out. Who is this?
We'll be right back after this short break. Just like you. Yo, what up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, DJ Malone. And I want you to tune in to Urban Indie Radio, the best independent radio station around the globe. We range from hip-hop all the way down to neo soul. So if you're interested in getting into something, go to www.urbanindieradio.com for more information. The best independent radio station around. It's your boy, DJ Malone. I right, I'm out. One. All right, we're going to get into this second high track by Cell the Rider. It's called Ain't a Game. What? Yeah. Smoking up that push while it is just with your lane. You pitch it ain't a game. 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 I just want to move on the track and change. Smoking up that push while it is just with your lane. You pitch it ain't a game. 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 track of the night songs are playing on urban indie radio get your spins man license sell the rider in the game feeling that all right caller we have one more caller on the line uh, um, is this a new caller yes okay 760-605 that's their same call. okay oh sorry about that that's okay all right we're gonna get into the industry topic of the night 
being an artist versus being a brand. And I thank the Facebook user who sent us this topic for tonight. Yeah, because normally we pick a topic, but I said, you know, I said, let's pick what they want. You know, absolutely. We, 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 we are here for all you. Y'all. So. Uh, <laughs> being an artist versus building a brand. I just want to start off by basically letting them know in this day and age, uh, you're, uh, you are your brand. The artist is actually the brand. You know what I mean? You should take it in that format. So we're going to go ahead and start a little discussion about that, I guess. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. When you are putting out music and you're trying to get people to see you as an artist, you have to understand that if you play a song, you might have a tight song. What if I never hear nothing else? What? If, how will I know to remember you later? Like, what if I just heard your song on the radio? What's going to make me go home and be like, man, I got to find out who that was. That song was dope. Right. For that, you're going to need something that stuck with me. If you have some kind of branding in the song or you're using your whatever group you're with or, you know, you were saying some key phrases that I can, can, that can go back and be like, man, who was that? Then it's going to make me be easier to find you. And it's going to make, make it easier for you to be found by other people also. So, I mean, it's sort of going together with a brand. What's the point of having the word? If you're a brand and you don't have any music and you're an artist, what are you branding? It, a t-shirt? What are you going to sell? A t-shirt with I am a t-shirt? You know, you are your own brand. So, anybody else want to? I'll, I'll just yeah. chime in from the PR perspective a little bit and just take it back down to like a whole marketing scheme. Coca-Cola, for example, they have a logo. It's been that way for a hundred years. There are different brands of cola, but you know what Coca-Cola is because of the branding. And that polar bear. You're going to think about that polar bear (laughs) when you think about Coca-Cola. So you have to sort of follow what the big, what the big companies do. They, they get a brand, they get a, like a signature statement. Just like he was saying, you could have a signature sound. Now, if you out there singing like Tupac, you not branding, you're singing like somebody else. If you actually come out and invent something new, like a new dance, a new rhythm, a new song, or a, new something, genre. a new genre, you know, that could be your brand. Otherwise, you need to, like, sometimes I hear artists will send me music and their names will be something like X259. And I'm like, what kind of a name of a group is that? I mean, that's not catchy at all. You know, so you need to sort of think about, you know, the brand because, you know, you are the brand, the music is the tool. Um, So think of it from a marketing perspective. Get yourself a look, a logo, a sound, something that everywhere you go, you say because you need to put impressions in people's minds over and over and over, either with your music or some other catchiness about you. Earlier today, I asked in saying, "What is Little Wayne's um, brand? What what is he known for?" And he told me, "Can I say what you said?" Well, I don't know if you want to say what I okay, said about Little Wayne, oh, but never mind. Uh, so, but, but anyway, yes, like, skating, like the skating brands and and the certain way he dresses, I don't dress that way. Let me first say that. But the way he dresses and his skater brands it's and his, 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 his wildness, his, his I am a Martian, all those are brands. That's you know his what I mean? brand. That's his branding. So yeah, hey, hey, hey. Mm-hmm. see, you know yeah, I'm so high all the time. That's that's right. another one. That's what I was gonna say. Was stunned, huh, behind me to control, like, but let's remember, man, when you making a brand is one thing, but be an artist first. The people they just named, I guarantee you, Lil Wayne don't go in the studio and say, "Hey, you heard that new uh, Nipsey Hustle song? Let's make one just like that." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you go in the studio, when, when I'm working on the album, I don't listen to nothing but me. Because I don't want to take ideas from somebody else. Yeah. And if you got something original, it's easier to build a brand. Yeah. Ain't no another Lil Wayne. Ain't no another T.I. You know what I'm saying? There's not going. There's no another Waka Flocka. There's not going to be another one of those people. So be an artist first, and a brand gonna come from it. He he hit that pretty well. Cause when I when I used to uh, be an artist, I used to do that. When I if I'm making my music, I'm not listening to nobody else's music. Cause I don't want. Cause you will subliminally pull from other people's music because some rappers say it's all me I don't have no influences that's not the truth yeah. every rapper has influences oh, yeah. you wouldn't know what a rap song is if you hadn't listened to other rappers everybody takes a piece but you have to put your own spin on it you know what I mean everybody has to everybody's listening to music so you wouldn't know about music you wouldn't know how to make music or how music should sound if you had never listened to music before 
But when you're creating your music, it's unless you can filter it off and not use other people's, it's best like like what Dunam said. I would advise that you do your you, that you block out everything. Don't have your radio in the studio. You need to be making your own music. It, it, uh, going, uh, going along with what you guys said, I agree 100. percent But it's just like in, in sports, anybody can shoot a jump shot, but how many times are you gonna make it? Nine out of ten. You know what I'm saying? So the the more work you put in to whatever brand, genre, or whatever you're going for, you're gonna get better at it if you respect the craft. If you're just doing it to sound like somebody, you're never gonna reach the next level. You might get a couple of fans because they like the beat, it's a familiar sound, but you're never gonna break through that threshold because you don't got enough actual umph, that talent, that actual drive and push that's gonna make you create the next sound, the next track that's gonna make your fans keep wanting to uh, hear, from, hear, hear, hear more from you. And remember, this is from Mike Angelo. Money make money. Talent don't make money. <laughs> money make money. Talent don't make money. Uh -huh. Now if you feel me on that, feel that. That means get yourself together and present yourself in a way that they can't turn you down. And whoever says no, that should put the power into you to keep going. No means yes till you get to where you want to be. Amen. Amen. Uh, well, Amen. You ain't going to win every game. For real. You ain't going to win every game, but you right. got to start somewhere. You know what I'm saying? On the keep real. Keep going. Don't but like you up. said, money makes money. You, if you're not willing to invest in yourself, if, you, if you're not recording at a real studio, if you're not really writing, taking days, like you said, to mix, master, getting critiqued by friends, family, people that don't know you, if you're not really taking it serious, you know what I'm saying? What are you doing it for? But money makes money, like you said. You know what I'm saying? You invest in yourself, nothing but investments is going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Absolutely. We're going to switch up a little bit because our show is going long and we might not be able to get to everything unless we move forward. So that was a great industry topic. Thank you so much, Facebook, for sending that in to us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another individual in the studio. He goes by LOS. He's fixing a step in LOS. front of this camera. That's a little second. surprise I was telling y'all about. He just came he in. LOS. LOS. He came in with touch up and he said... I want to spit something. I'm like, okay, well, we're going to definitely let you spit something. Last one. This is my big girl. Last one. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, you might not want to actually have the headphones on when you're doing that. I don't know, it might impede your own process. Can you look into the camera and say hi? That's LOS. Guys. LOS in the building. Last one. Hashtag still TC. How that is. We're going to hear something. Hard up. Yeah. Give me a word. Random word. Anybody? Um, random word? Random uh, chicken. Rap. Chicken. Okay, I'm with that. Check it. I'm all about my balling. You can get it. No bucks, no luck. They talking about they on top. We like, so what? Because I'm coming through with bad chickens, no duck. Told them dudes we be pressing, but they trying to keep an impression that them dudes been really kicking them lessons, but I don't be really feeling them blessings. Mm. I told them dudes that I came here just to switch in, kick in. Matter of fact, keeping original, like them shoes that slip in. Ooh. My cats try to act like they was tripping, I was keeping it happen. When they was trying to master it, nigga, I was just keeping it rapping. I was far from big, but I was still keeping it macking. And I was far from on the block, but I was still keeping it stacking. Mm. Never keeping it slacking, but I was ready for action. I was ready for whatever, so I was thinking it could happen. I was seeing the top with my eyes lit closed. You better stop because you already know that I still deliver flows. I almost stumbled a bit, but I'm from the jungle a bit. You mm. better stop because if you come, you better come with your click. You best come with your clip because I come with the force. You better stop, motherfucker, before I come to your door. Sorry for the profanity, lyrical calamities. A lot of dudes spit it, but they lyrically toss a blast me. Got the action. If you want to see it, you're laughing me. That'd be the last out of here like last week. I still got the heat, the type of heat that melts things down the concrete. You want beef to holler at me. I'll tell you exactly where I be. I keep it posted like the status, the apparatus. If they had to get the upper hand when they try to work their magic, one of the baddest. Matter of fact, you need three wishes by the genie in the Latin. Fall from passive, fall from average. Matter of fact, 1983 when all of this was established. Now I'm in my 30s but still keeping it early. You can get hit in a hurry if you want the fist of the fury. You would think it was Dragon Lee. How could he still coming like Mike Angelo? Because I got the masterpiece. Oh! 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 Oh!
battles with apples, you better stop it. I'm mixing while they talking about the hip hop and they get preposterous before they do it. I got my nostrils flossing. Matter of fact, my nostrils is flaring, not caring who's staring. You still get embarrassed if you want to do it. Me and the game been married. You wasn't invited to the marriage. No horse in the carriage. If you want to do it, we'll go ahead and make it clear as soon as they air it. I'm right here chilling in the chair, we can kick it there, oh. we can go ahead and blindfold me, and we can put the headphones on and still make it fair, we can take it there, cause they ain't prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Check it. LOS was sitting in the corner looking like he was falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> he got over in this hot seat and threw down. I'm like, whoa. Bars. That's my nigga. That's, a, that's real. That's what trained us. You know oh what I'm saying? All right. Bars. Ladies and okay. gentlemen. We, man. Thank you for that, man. Thank we you. better Thank get you, into bro. our guest. That's yeah, we are right now. Special celebrity guest in the building tonight. Top show. Southern California artist. Yes. All right. Tell us a little bit about you guys. You want to start it off? Uh, yeah, man. Well, you know, I, I go by Cali Twitch. You know, I'm a, I'm the lighter shade of artists of the group. <laughs> you, know, really see, you don't really see a lot of artists I'm nowadays. A sexy, you, don't see, you don't really see a lot of artists nowadays that got a, you know, a light skin and a dark skin. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they could, you mean? I, we, I mean, we go back since we was young. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, Check it's not elementary. Yeah, like elementary school, you know I mean? We started off at the basketball courts, you know what I mean? And then awesome. after that, we, we just kind of learned that anything we was doing as a team, you know what I mean? We, we were dominating that, you know what I mean? And with that aspect, you know what I mean? We always considered ourselves top shelf players of the basketball court. So the basketball kind of flipped over to hip hop, and then the hip hop name came top shelf. Must be good keepers, you know, each other from elementary. That's good. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah. We go way back, man. All right. Uh, we actually started doing music maybe a year or two after we uh, graduated high school. This guy had just got out of jail. Oh! I was at the crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy how we, how we met back up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My boy went to jail for about almost a year or something yeah, like that. Seven months. Yeah, uh, got out at the uh, county building or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He was up there handling his paperwork or whatever. I'm in the uh, he in the car actually. I'm walking by and I see a white boy playing music. <laughs> so I'm like, wait a minute. He look at me like. DB, I'm like, my nigga, what's good? You know what I'm saying? So we link up, exchange mixtapes. From that point on, we just, you know, uh, hitting each other line, like, what's good, bro? You trying to record, blah, blah, blah whatever, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The first song we recorded was actually called Top Shelf Kush. We recorded it, or uh, wrote it on the way to the studio, dropped it. Came with, up with the hook, all of it. All that, you, you know what I'm saying? Right huh? <laughs> Where the track at now? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's That's tell us a little bit. Tell, yeah, tell, tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About the track shooting for the stars. Uh, well, this track, you know I mean, it was more of an inspirational track. We wanted the fans to get an exclusive look behind the music and what we're really striving for, what we aim for on a daily basis. You know what I mean, even though we do music and that's a way, you know I mean, to express yourself. You know what I mean, we wanted the, the artists to really get to know how we, basically, what we're doing for the music. You know I mean, or why we're doing this music. You know, it's it's like a it's a behind the scenes type of track. Okay, right. we're gonna get into it right now. Top shelf, shooting for the stars. It's a my boy No Fame from Danny Boy Records. Also, he's the one that does the hook. All okay. right, shout out Danny Boy Records. Yeah. There's no retirement point in life. We gotta stand up and take responsibility as a man. I'm trying to make sure that my family got food to shut over their heads. It ain't about me. I'm not here on my ride. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm not here on my ride. 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 Got it, I will do stress. I done been through it all, so I'm ready for what's next. Family who I protect, struggling through all the death. Sometimes I have to send for my family to feel blessed. Gotta give it my all once they put me to the test. Live life with no regrets. Regret and let them see me stress. Well, I run out the power, got feel up to my neck. But I never lose faith because God don't forget. No time is money, so be careful how we spend. And he is going hungry, selling food for the rest. But life is just a game and it's hard as people win But even when the rain goes, the sun will shine again I'm, I'm out here on my grind, I'm trying to get my 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 I'm tr
water. I can feel the break a mile away. I'm reaching for the light so my son can see a brighter day for the first time in my life. I feel like I'm doing things right. I'm not thinking about this life. Why you take up if I lose this fight? Yesterday was the old me and tomorrow brings out the new me. The change is hard, but I'm a man. I stand all on my two feet. Looking at my son, all I see is me, me, me. Hoping that he's nothing like me, me, me. Cause I'm the man that I used to be. But I still go hard when I'm blue too. Hey, I remember when we had food. No. Work hard, you play hard, I'm working double shit from the graveyard. Work hard, you play hard, I'm working double shit from the graveyard. I'm not getting around my crying. I'm riding in my head. I'm taking a trip to the sun. 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 I'm taking a trip to the sun
uh, my mom's, my grandma, all my family everywhere in the United States, Germany, everywhere. Uh, you mean yes. my boy LOS, last one standing, man, boy, man, man. <laughs> and shout out to Nils, too, my bad. Nils is one of my Nils, biggest supporters yeah. in Germany. We got love in multiple states, countries. It's crazy. That's I got a homegirl in Japan. Nate, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go into it, but just check us out. Follow us on Instagram at iDeliveryBoy. That's two wise because you're gonna question me a couple times when you see my picture. <laughs> it's so fresh. Kill his mic. Yo, what's up? <laughs> it's your boy LOS. I want to shout out my son. You feel me? Young CO. Love you, son. Uh, everybody that supports the COTC movie. Hold it up. 76 so. And I'm a cousin. No love. And all y'all, you know, for yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Shy, it. Give it Lady Empress. Yeah. Uh, I got a list, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, big shout-out to the Fight True group. My boy Dwight is called in. GSI, Rift the General, St. Lulu, uh, GNC Media. And there's everybody out here in the IE, Hannibal, uh, Valencia Stacks, Just Money, Tommy Dye, man. We love y'all, man. It's going down. I'll let Mike Angelo tell you how the shows we got coming up. That's his thing. Right? <laughs> Mike Angelo, you got any shout outs for me? Uh, shout outs to Chicago. Shout outs to the IE, West Coast, LA. Shout outs to my people in the building. Hot music. We need to link up too. Yeah, uh, always. Shout out to the broadcasting system here with my peoples. Insane. <laughs> and moms. <laughs> we got to stop fighting over the airway. But, uh, we're <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Show uh, February 9th, February 23rd. Get at me, Mike Angelo, Instagram, 14, you know, how to pace Oh, yeah, we might be rocking a Black History Parade in Riverside this year. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been in a couple of press. <clears throat> All right. Um, I wanted to say special shout out to my boy uh, Two Face out there for just shooting this video, man, Two doing his thing, and uh, let the, let everybody know that you know, what I'm saying we are doing a uh, pre Grammy event. Um, with Macalucci, so shout out to Macalucci and mm -hmm. to Ball Entertainment mm -hmm. for inviting us out. Okay, yes, um, we're covering oh, the Macalucci. I Mac forgot Luchy. one thing. I gotta give them the links. Insane One Records, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, anything you can think of. You know, what I'm saying Insane One Records, one word. Holla at me, artist development. Send music to Insane One Records at gmail.com. I just want to shout out everybody in the building tonight. Came out, had a really good show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Top Show, for coming it. down. We're going to come back. Urban Indie Radio, Urban Stars Media, Blaze, like crazy. Check out our client also, Natalia Domini doing big things. Natalia Domini doing big things. Hi, Natalia. She texted me that she was watching us. She did. I love that show. Text me, though. Watch me text me, though. All the way from Brazil. Exactly. I like Brazil. I like Brazil. I like Brazil. Because... These, these no, guys are having too on, much fun on, tonight. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody knows what happened. Silence, silence, silence. Silence, silence. It is Cali Twitch's birthday tonight. Hey. Tomorrow. Up at Club right, Premier. Club Premier. 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 Right. It's free until midnight if you're 18 and up and you a lady. All 21 uh, and up is free. So ladies, ladies. All right. So you know what you're doing tomorrow. Quickly before we sign off, we got one caller. That's I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. 909-576. Speak to me. Hello. 909-576. You are live on air with the Blaze NBLA show. Which one? Caller. It's actually. It's probably my All right, dad. caller, you have to call back next week, every Wednesday, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Next time. Blaze in the LA show. All right, we always play an old to the dream track, you know, paying homage to, old, well, rappers back in the day. So, our. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. <laughs> we don't have too much activity. Listen, I'm going to try and play this track because my dashboard is having a situation that may be why I couldn't pick up that last caller. Anyway, it's Let's see if we can get this one over. Let's see if we can get this old track playing. You're going to know who it is. This is Ice T. Well, Cutler. 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 Cutler.
coach. Y'all might as well sing it because the, the, the dashboard ain't working. Let's go. Another freestyle. All right. We're having technical difficulties. That's what happened. Hey, my bro killed so the system. We're going to the show. All the yeah, shout out, Lord. That's a blue up the system. That's a blue up the system. Hey, can I? Can we all do a 16 real quick? Can I spin a 16? Uh-oh. Hey, now we should all do a 16. Let's all do a 16. Let's wrap it up real quick. But we got six minutes on here. Let's spin. I'm going first. Because for y'all that don't know, Doonam is do gospel rap, but I'm going to let y'all hear a little something real quick. It's my prerogative to do something that's positive. No more making music about women that's derogative. See, the problem is we focused on the wrong thing. Fame, a long chain. With all that nonsense, you can go, man. Filled with the Holy Spirit through my lyrics, you gon' hear it. God saved the rest like me, so hallelujah, gotta cheer it. Started some time ago, a couple hundred rhymes ago. Something touched my heart and said to Dara, change your kind of flow. Reacted kind of slow, way too caught up in the world. Change my rhyme to change the mind of a few little boys and girls. In Psalms 27, 6, my Savior spoke to me. Said my head will be held high up above all of my enemies. Yeah. It won't pretend to be perfect because none of us saw. It might sound bizarre. I'd rather be saved than be a star. I'm saying thank you, Savior, because through all my bad behavior, stood right by my side. Don't need all state. There is no greater neighbor. Balls, homes. Uh, okay. Uh -oh. All right, shout out 76 rapping right here. It's your boy DB, a.k.a. Delivery Boy. <laughs> They upset, I get my money in a nice way, and I stay fresh, man, like I'm in the ninth grade. My Ooh. game cold, it remind them of the ice age. Top shelf, cause you hit this one to make your life change. I stay fly, I don't care what the price is, and I'm touching keys and I don't even own my license. Check Ooh. my bedroom if you wonder where your wife is. I'm not a plumber, but I know where that pipe is. <laughs> your money short like Daisy Dukes. I got goons with me that shoot guns that the Navy shoot. Matter of fact, when I rap, you should forfeit. I get paid for fucking bitches, my dick need an endorsement. Whoa. I got a bad bitch, her ass enormous. Actually, see the apple in my eye, I call her orchid. Real shit, nigga, I play with bitches like an organ, and I only see O's like the ducks from Oregon. Thank you very much. Oh. I need to shout out somebody who's tweeted us a little while ago. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you for joining our show via Twitter and say, and giving input on the Point of No Return mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. We have Casey Raglan who commented on Facebook. And uh, there's been several comments sent to me. And also the our audio tech... Uh, IT tech guy, Mr. Irock, uh, texted me and said I need to shout him out. Thank you so much <laughs> for hooking all this up. Thank you. Next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call, no, the caller, what, the caller, nine five, the caller that called in. I'm not gonna they, be able to pick No, up. I know, I know you can't pick him up. They were wanting to know why they got cut off. Where the switchboard, the queue is having technical yeah. difficulties. Our this is over the internet. This is an internet radio. We can't help that. That's why I said you have to call back next week. We didn't try to cut you off. So sorry. That's why we're ending our show with freestyles because I can't even do I'll anything. I spit in man. I don't even spit. <laughs> I'll spit. All right, how about that? I don't even spit. I used to spit in the nineties, but I can still rap like it's grimy. They don't know where to find me. Why are they trying to try me? I don't even know why, but I don't even bust, but I come harder than a lot of these thugs that think that they hard. What you want to floss for? You trying to hop in my car. Why you girl want to hop in my bar? Who think that they hot their star? I don't even put out that far, but I go further than you. Now tell me what you want to do. It's all up to you. You got that little deuce deuce, but I pack in a big four fifth that knock you off of four fifths and then make mm. you think like, oh shit, that nigga did that real tip. You don't want to try us, why? Because we on that fire high, sipping 151 fire till you set it on fire high. And then the birds blew flames and up the storms. They get mad at me. They crazy. They like germs. I tell them they can't observe. Man, best sit up on that curb and sip on your old Hennessy OD or something for the word. Oh, no, I'm just playing. Uh, I'm just playing. Y'all don't want to hear me say it. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Twitch, Twitch. Twitch. Kelly Twitch. I'm like, hey, chick, let's roll up. Tell them other hoes they can hold up, cause I'ma roll one while I smoke one. If the homies can't hit it, it ain't no fun. So I double up. Two bad bitches with some double cups, and I double butts when I hustle, bruh. Yeah, I go hard in the paint, that's why I be stunting tough. I got a cup full of that rose, blunts wider than hoes legs. Feel good, cause I smoke great. Get high when I'm in the low state, but speaking of which, I'm deep in your bitch. At the right hit, she's steep as a cliff. Long dick coming, I get deep as a dish. Brain so, but I'm thinking about keeping that bitch. I got weed in my spliff, wax in my bomb. Wax it on, and she can wax it off. There's no choice at all, cause I had the bomb going in like Kareem Abdul Jabbar. 
bar. You ain't fucking around with no rookie. And we're going ham on that pussy. Like front, back, side to side. Front, back, side to side. Break it down and I'm a roll one. I got bad bitches that smoke some. Giddy up, cause it's a rodeo. Cause I'm optimals. I got some more to roll up. What's a hold up? So what if it's more blunts? I'm a roll up. And you know what? I'm a light up right now and then pass it around. And get high as a cloud. Like it's puff puff give cause I'm trying to get high. And I smoke blunts with God. That's why there's clouds in the sky. Ooh. Hey. I'm sorry, but if he wasn't sitting there, I would not know that he was a light skin. He brother. was light skin. <laughs> we get that a lot. We, we get that a lot. We, we, we got to give a little time to Mike Angelo, but let me just say I apologize to my mama who's watching. Uh, <laughs> my mama. She had a light skin pressure. It's his birthday tomorrow. It's his birthday tomorrow. It's his birthday tomorrow. I'm sorry, mom. Sorry, mom. One more. We got one minute. We got Mike Angelo coming up. Green Goblin, 90 time to get it seconds. poppin', 44 colors here, Dennis Rodman, mm. paintbrush, paintbrush, this is my utensil, put the condom on, fuckin' your instrumental, wild out, wild out, time to bring my style out, niggas wanna hack the shack, watch a foul out, baseline, tippy toe like Mike in a Hawks game, y'all niggas ain't on, y'all just my offspring, mm. we just trying to get it going, get the weed and liquor pouring, pretty bitches in my view, I'm just trying to break a few, Cali what the Lakers do, chronic what the Lakers do, drop, I'ma save a few, wonder what they can do now, I'm on my shop, no put circles in your face, peep holes, red bottoms on my bitch, peep those, she look Latin like she from Puerto Rico, D diamonds on my wrist, free ho, I won't say her son name, I call him mijo, you know my Cali connect, I call him Tito, and I get the <laughs> discount wherever we go! <laughs> Thank you guys. I'm just signing off. I'm sorry, Mama. Thank you for using Blog Talk Radio. Goodbye. Ten seconds. It's like you use a restroom now? Yeah. Yes, you yeah. can go for it. I'm about to smoke the hell out of it. I think it's good that, man.